right up in here with me. Uh, this is what I was talking about. I got a new carburetor with an electric choke. This right here is the electric choke. And this is what I meant about it's hard to get a screwdriver over in here to adjust that. I could get a crooked screwdriver over in there and do it uh, if I felt for sure that that would help. Probably not going to do that today. It does have new fuel lines, new fuel filter, new fuel pump, various and sundry things like that. Um, I was wondering if it has enough gas to do what I want to do today without me putting more gas in it. I haven't been to the store and added any gas to it. Uh, so, we'll just take that off and let y'all see exactly where the choke is. That little screw in my pocket so I won't lose it. So, this is the choke and it's completely closed. And if I pump it, it'll open a little and it goes to closed again. Now, usually after it runs a little bit, this will open a little bit because it works off the spring, which works off that little thing over there. Uh, but the real, the real fix is if I do what I'm about to do is put a little gas in there. Now I want to first of all stop and say thanks to Musty One. I saw Musty One using a bottle like this on his videos. What I used to do is take a gas can and pour it over in there and I'd, I'd spill about a half a gallon all over the motor. Kind of like Brown. Y'all ever seen Brown when he's with 63 Impala and he pours he pours gas all over himself and his car and everything else in the shop, you know. And, he usually does manage to get whatever he's messing with to run, but sometimes he sets himself or the motor or the shop or whatever on fire in the process. Oh, I've done all those things, but I'm less, I'm less uh, excited about doing that in my old age than I used to be when I was a younger boy and had more of a, you know, an appetite for all sorts of violence and such. So what I'm gonna do instead, and uh, I guess I could go ahead and pull this wire loose. I got plenty of batteries. So with that little bit of gas squirted in there, I'm going to bet you she'll fire up now. And in theory, what this thing should do, brand new carburetor and everything, is it should have some gas in the bowl. And when you pump it like that, there should be a little squirt of gas that goes right down in there. In fact, if you look at this, I can see barely even a much of a pump. So I'm thinking that the reason I replaced the fuel pump is because sometimes the fuel that's in here will leak out of the out of the bowl. I suppose that must still be happening, but why? I don't know. But anyway, with all that said, let's just see if she starts up. about a half a lick. And when I pump this, we're getting some gas down in there, but not a lot. Not a great big squirt like I'd like to see. Yeah, we'll put more of this in there. Usually when I do that, I'll open this up to let what I just put in there get down past the butterflies that are bottom of that carburetor. 